The family of a dying woman needs help. While they wait for it, they intend to help others. Here's Denver 7's Megan Lopez. It's quiet outside the Elk Meadow Eatery in Evergreen. The open sign is off, the door is locked, a single bouquet of flowers sits on a picnic table outside. The restaurant, she loves feeding people, she loves taking care of people, is co-owned by Mandy Evans. As everyone knows they can go there for a meal and a hug. Known by her sister Cassandra for her selflessness and her generosity. There have been times I'm like, I love you sissy and I love your generous heart, but I don't know if it's the best business model. The restaurant has been closed all week after Mandy was was involved in a serious car crash. Don't know what happened that caused her to go off the road, if there was an animal or a distraction or something. Her family is now getting ready to say goodbye to the mother of two. We've had all of the hard conversations with her doctors. The story of Mandy's effect on the community told through donations and messages on her GoFundMe as the family tries to pay for her medical bills and support her sons with the restaurant now closed. They don't fully understand, but they each process things in their own way and they're having a really hard time. They're going to. I mean, this is Christmas for the rest of their lives. But even now, even from a St. Anthony hospital bed, the mother, the restaurant owner who gave so much in life, still showing her generosity through organ donation. This is our worst nightmare. What is a devastating Christmas for us is going to turn into a Christmas miracle for several other families. And that is just the best thing we can find in all of this. And I know it's what she would want generosity and selflessness that all of us could use a little more of in our lives in evergreen the generosity of her community that is her legacy megan lopez denver 7.